Key West. We've been anchored at Fleming Key Anchorage since bringing the band back from Marquesas Keys. It's beautiful here. The water, the city, the culture. Key West is one of those places that eases the passing of time. Whether spending money or not, you'll always find ways to entertain yourself. Lately, we've been passing our time with walks down Duval Street, visits to Captain Tony's, and hanging out on the boardwalk. We are waiting for our weather window to sail north to Miami and then east to the Bahamas. Week after week, we've watched North Fronts push bad weather our way. We could be angry, we could be disappointed, but as sailing so often teaches us, we've got to be patient. For now, the Bahamas await as we find new ways to pass time. Exciting day on SV Rite of Passage. It's the first installment of Chumplin. Nice body of a barracuda here. And we've got a little bit of Spanish mackerel and a little bit of snapper in there too. Should it always look like fish jerky like that? Um, no actually. We should have put this stuff in a bucket and, and let it get all nasty. But instead we just kind of made jerky. Oh, it just put juice on me. Now it is time to fire this baby up and uh, get Chum Blender round one going. So you'll see we're using a Ninja Blender here, Davey. Oh, it doesn't fit. No, no. Real cool, dude. Hmm. Now what do we do? So we're faced with quite the conundrum now. The old blender attachment that we planned on using on the new blender to chum up our fish doesn't fit. So do we use the new blender for chum? Can we wash it out good enough to have that not be disgusting? I don't know. Maybe we use that little one. Remember how it came with two attachments? Yeah. That's what we'll do. So I was thinking about using just that little blender for chum. Is that okay? It's your blender. But I mean, is anybody else planning on using it for anything else? Panda? <laughs> no. Like a lot of bleach. We've it got this brand new blender we have never used. It's like a proper food processor. You just got it. Is it really worth making chum, do you think? It's your blender. This is better for making like pesto and hummus. Oh, and you can make hummus in that just fine. But you know, like, do it if you want to do it. We could get one of those paint blenders from Home Depot. We'd have to kind of soak it for some days yeah. to really oh, putrefy it. Yeah, oh yeah. But kind of worth it. Yeah. Oh, Hi, blender. we'll just postpone this project. I'll just put all the, the fish in the bucket again and put salt water in it. You put the fish in the bucket and you seal it right up? Yeah. I just That's feel what like we'll do. the last thing. We're gonna go sailing because it's been boring and cold and boring on the boat. And we're waiting for a weather window to Miami, um, which was Thursday but might not be Thursday now, so. Who knows? So we're gonna move the boat just for fun and then bring it back and anchor in Key West. Movement. It never ceases to amaze me. The last few days I've been down, impatient for what is to come, uncertain about my future. I've sensed similar feelings from my crewmates, yet one afternoon of full sails and rolling seas seems to cure it all. It is amazing what a simple change of pace can do to ease the mind. We leave our worries in the care of the setting sun and turn our focus towards getting ready for our crossing. Anything biting? Nothing's biting. Nothing's biting? Nope.
Did you chum the waters? I did, but I think that we need uh, we need our chum to be a little bit uh, more processed. All right, all right. Well, you know what we could do? <laughs> chum blender. <laughs> chum blender! So I've got a lot of really amazing gifts so far on my birthday. Uh, it's been a pretty good one. But the best gift yet has to go hands down to the chum blender. Here. Oh, it's leaking. Oh. So you might be asking yourself, what is chum? Chum is nasty shit. <laughs> we try not to waste any of the fish on the boat. And so that means almost every single piece of the fish that we catch, we chop up into little tiny pieces and we put the big heads and that big bucket. And then we've got little containers like this for our daily use chum. And there's a saying, if you chum, they will come. And it is very true, I've found out so far. We've wanted a way to process our chum and get it, you know, breaking down a little bit faster and easier to use so it's not big chunks and big bones and things like that because, you know, we catch some monster fish. That's a lie. But uh, we were going to use our nice blender, but we all decided that that was a really bad idea because Chum is pretty fucking disgusting. Killer KT and Kirk brought me home this chum blender, so we're gonna go ahead and blend up some chum here. So your first step to using the chum blender is to insert your chum in the blender. <laughs> oh god. It's bad. How's it? <laughs> oh god. Yep. Oh. Yep, yeah. she's ripe. She's real ripe. Chum blender, it's gonna get ya. Snap her head. Before you kill them. Oh man, that is bad. Well, that's real full. This is an ambitious process right here. We're going for it. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. Well, there's some heads going through there. Definitely an eyeball. I was hovering around. Right there? Yeah. Blenders don't often survive on this boat. So far, Rite of Passage has burned through two brand new ninja blenders and two second hand inferior blenders. Maybe it's bad luck or more likely bad wiring. Now, instead of producing a thick, fermented fish paste, we now have something I'd like to call Jiffy's Chunky Fish Butter. The chum is potent. We caught a small pinfish almost immediately after chumming the water. 